Let's unbox a pocket ring planner together. I promised that I wouldn't do it and I did it anyway. <laughs> I got myself another pocket ring planner. So I've been really obsessed with pocket sized planners this year. And now that I'm getting into rings, I've been so interested in pocket ring planners. In my previous video, when I talked about of this pocket ring planner, I mentioned that the page size in this is much smaller than your standard pocket notebook like this one. But uh, these are so adorable and I figured out that uh, I can actually put a larger page size into these, so it shouldn't be too bad. So this particular one was set up as a wallet, a cash wallet. I decided to get this one to use for notes and daily to-dos and things like that, you know, to have a planner with paper in it rather than cash wallet. So I found this cute pocket-sized ring planner on Etsy and I decided to give it a try. So let's unbox it together. I've only opened the plastic bag so I didn't have to struggle with it on camera. And inside they packaged it really really well. So this one uh, hails all the way from China. So they packaged it like I said extremely well. Uh, there was a bag inside the bag and then inside you have this like a bubble wrap thing. So let's Well, you can see there's some goodies included with it too. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. Alright, so farm. So it's dark gray. And I didn't realize uh, that they're going to include uh, a bunch of things with it too. So let's see. Let me untape these so we can see what they are. Okay, don't look, don't look. That's going to be next. <laughs> All right, so looks like um, I'm getting a charm. Looks like a bunny, I guess. Little charm. It looks like a bunny, I think it is. The little holder. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, it is a basically like a little bunny profile. It's uh, made out of like the feather. Then, oh, this is so cool. I was wondering, um, I, I could tell it was a pen loop, but so it looks like, um, let me take it out so it's not shiny. As you can see, everything is like super well packaged. It's a uh, pen loop insert or, or dashboard with a pen loop. Which is really cool because I believe this one doesn't come with a pen loop uh, on the planner itself as far as I remember. And look, they already pre-slated it too, which is very considerate of them. So then I don't have to open and close the rings all the time. This is cool. Looks like um, undyed leather. Uh, it's pretty narrow, so if anything, it will be um, one of those pen holders where you put just the, um, you know, like the, like this. I cannot remember what it's called. Like this. Alright, that's really cool. And then it looks like I also got some stickers. Oh, so cute. They're different unicorns. Very cute. And like they're, they are tiny in size, which is perfect for this kind of a planner size. Alright, now. The actual main attraction here. Oops. Let me take everything away. Ta-da! Okay, let me let me open this so it's not glary. Oh, it's nice. It's um real leather, and as you can see, it's gray. It's um it's not pebbly. It's um very smooth. Not like shiny smooth. There is a little bit of texture, but not too much. As you can see, there is a character to the leather that it's made from. I love the fact that it had this chunky strap, look how wide it is, and uh, the button, it's uh, popping out a bit, which I really like. I wanted to have that dome uh, popper for a while. I did not uh, customize anything, I just uh, ordered it as is. So cool. Okay, let's open. Okay, oh, before I open, sorry for being uh, keeping you on the edge of your seats. So as you can see, 
this one is also a pocket so this is a7 this is a7 but as you can see this one is wider so it's almost like a plus so i can have wider uh, inserts if i wanted to or um, put in more uh, inserts in it if i wanted to um, i actually like that this one is not too wide that it like fits well in the hand but um, i'm glad also that this one has more room for uh, inserts because this one does not all right let's open oh cool it has two okay that now makes sense right so it has two so then i can make it wider if i needed to so i can like make it really chunky okay so they put the, they put a little bit of this in in there as well to like really protect everything so what i like about this one is um it lays flat as you can see it opens up doesn't doesn't do this the way like this one did i really like it I'm, I'm really excited i wanted to have one that lays flat like that and i knew they had to be with um natural leather which it is so as you can see uh it has a zippered pocket here so for like coins and then another pocket here and here it's uh, lined inside uh, and outside has a, a pen loop here uh, which is um, completely elasticated and then it's covered so then you don't have that like a uh, elastic sticking out if you don't want it which is pretty interesting I've never seen that before has a pocket here and one here really really cool uh, I love the fact that it had silver rings and not gold I wish the zipper was with um, a silver uh, metal rather than gold because you know you have gold here and silver here but you know it's okay um, I, I really was happy that this one was silver. Now, uh, um, as you notice, these rings are not uh, large. Uh, these are 20 millimeter rings. I, I knew that buying it, but I also knew that if you notice, these rings have um, screws on them. Uh, so they're probably using like Moterm style rings. So when I saw that, I knew that if uh, after a while, if I wanted to get bigger rings, I can. I can just unscrew them by 30 millimeter Moterms and put them in here. And since this one is wider than, for example, this one, it would definitely be able to accommodate 30 millimeter rings um, and the uh, inserts that hang off of them. Because once you get bigger rings, then you need a wider planner because otherwise your, all of your inserts will hang um, over the edge. Really cool. And I'm sure you already noticed it has a back pocket all lined with leather, leather, leather here. So uh, it's really cool because uh, it's made out of thin leather, but because everything is basically double uh, layered, uh, it has nice structure while also being flexible. So it's not too floppy and not too um, stiff. So cool. I love it so nice. All right, so um, as you can see, it came like this, right? Then they gave me an extra pen loop. Uh, which can hang here um, even though now that I realize if I put it in here uh, it will not be sticking out enough for pen to hang outside I guess it's gonna have pen hanging inside so let's put this on here for now now I haven't planned what inserts are gonna have in here but I wasn't too worried because if you watched my previous video I already have some a pocket plus inserts uh, on hand that I can use at least to start with and then I can always just uh, grab regular paper and cut it to size uh, and use as inserts here I like graph paper because I can use it for many different uh, purposes I'm not necessarily maybe need a really elaborate inserts but I can just use graph paper and cut it down to size I mentioned in my previous video so regular pocket inserts are pretty small then there is a pocket plus which is basically this size which is a three and a half wide by five tall regular pocket is three and a half by five and a half and as you can see if i put it here there is room on the top and on the bottom so you can i think you can fit actually three and a half by five and a half your regular pocket size pages in here you just need to basically get them out of um pocket notebooks and then punch hole and then you know if you want to round the corners or use them this way so until then um i can use uh, these particular inserts so let's put some in there let's test these rings nice very nice so these inserts are from handy forms and they are to do lists things to do you have priority things to do description due date and then check box for when it's done so i can put a couple here 
There we go. So pocket plus and pocket inserts use same ring size. It's just the page size itself is bigger, but ring distance is the same. So you can uh, get any of the pocket plus inserts and they will work. And uh, I got these from Amazon. Now this one is a graph paper. Uh, this one's actually pretty big. I believe it's a five millimeter uh, grid here, like your standard that you will find in any grid notebook. For these, I got them because I kind of wanted to have inserts and not to have cut anything down. But as you can see, these are just uh, graph paper, nothing, nothing to it. So I can literally just grab my graph paper notebook and cut it down. And next time I need some of these. But until then, I figured I'd grab some of these and uh, have them on hand. And then I also, uh, with this particular planner here, when it came, it came with these cash envelopes. So I'm not going to carry cash in here, but I can use one of these to hold uh, maybe receipts or tickets or like a little uh, ephemera, maybe stickers, you know, actually, that will be probably a um, good idea to have uh, some loose, smaller stickers in here. Um, and uh, let's see, uh, like this, let me punch, pop all the little hole, there we go. Um, with this, you can probably also put like a photo inside, but this one is frosted because it was intended to hold things more than display things. Uh, I believe there are pockets that are purely clear, and there are also pockets like designed to hold credit cards or business cards, so I can get one of those in the future if I want to have like a picture in the front or use it as a, you know, kind of a dashboard with display. All right, let's see. Okay, let's close it and see how it looks with. Yeah, so you can definitely fit like a whole bunch of things in here. Um, definitely more pages to go and I'll fill it up as I go. And as you can see, it is really wide. So then there is still room for um, the inserts. So the pen loop is here, but pen loop can also be on the side. And definitely there is enough height if I wanted to fit a taller page and what I meant by uh, pocket plus for rings versus regular pocket so this notebook here is a pocket size so this one is moleskin Kaya and um, this one is let me just grab one of these so this one is three and a half by five and a half so if you put this one as you can see the width is the same but then you have this much more height that um, it gives you so what I meant in the beginning when I was saying you can use uh, your regular pocket inserts is you can grab one of these, literally just grab a paper cutter and cut it in the middle here and then punch hole it. Now these come actually with a tear off. I don't know if you can see there is like a little line. So I can tear it off and put it in here. Granted, then it's going to be a bit too narrow. What I'm trying to say is if I put this notebook against this cover, as you can see, it still has actually tiny room on the top and on the bottom so you can totally put a page that is your standard pocket sized page into these ring planners and they should fit because the width is already there width is fine and the height height is the one that um, you would be concerned with but as you can see it fits just fine so that's my plan um, I want to take one of these and just use a paper cutter and cut it and a punch hole it and it already has rounded corners so that's perfect and then also uh, i don't have it here but i have moleskin pocket weekly i don't use the weekly side but i can use this side which i believe is just uh either plain or it has lines or uh, maybe graph uh, i can use uh, something like that uh, or i can for example buy moleskin pocket uh, graph paper notebook and uh, cut that punch hole it and put it in here too so basically any regular pocket inserts that are meant for pocket notebooks not pocket rings should fit in here even though this is you know pocket rings supposed to be much smaller but from what i'm finding out it um, should be able to fit your regular uh, notebook pocket sized uh, pages in here if you you know obviously punch hole them so so far i'm very very happy with this one it's really nice uh, you should be here to smell the leather and i love the fact that it is well structured but also flexible and lays flat um to just uh, show you what i mean when you get this one which is a fake leather i got it, it was like ten dollars 9.99 on amazon so i can't complain and i really like the the color and the texture and what it offers as you can see it fits my cash envelopes just fine but if i open something like this let me put this to the side for a minute and you open it 
it does this, right? It's that does just that's what um, planners with artificial leather do, right? They have this stiffness to them, and I don't mind it because I'm not going to be writing here at length. I will be just going to the cash, getting the cash, and paying uh, at the grocery store and having my shopping list here, and that's it. But when you want to have your planner that you can interact with daily, you want to be able to take notes, uh, you know, page through it, find stuff. You don't want to keep on, you know, constantly holding the side down so it doesn't get in the way. So um, I'm really glad that I was hoping that this planner would do it and it does. And I totally love the fact that it has a back pocket. How cool is that? And I like that it has all these pockets here. Then I can keep um, either coins or maybe like if I have a single key, for example, I want to keep with me for whatever reason, I can put it in here as well. And for some reason, I thought they didn't have a pen loop, but I do. So this is cool that they already have an uh, elastic pen loop here. And they have this additional one here. To me, uh, actually, it's kind of weird that pen loop is here. I understand that it's intended for the pocket uh, size. Uh, and I'm intending to use it with the wider pages. So I don't know if I'm going to use it here. Here. I do appreciate the fact that they included this, you know, to have basically an additional pen loop. If anything, I might maybe consider using it here, even though I use this one as Pocket Plus as well. But, you know, it, it's still good to have on hand. And then as far as this one, since this is fully elastic, I'm pretty sure it should be able to fit whatever pen I want. So let's, for example, grab um, uh, this Paper Mate, just an example. Perfect. <laughs> No problem at all, as you can see. Um, I love elastic pen loops, and the height of the planner is perfect to fit the size of this pen. So, for example, if I wanted to have that pen here, then I can. And voila. So, now looking at this and thinking about the ring planners that I already have, uh, I realized I probably would need to get the page lifter. So, um, I used to watch videos and people would talk about page lifters, and I would think, what's the big deal it's just a, a, a plastic sheet in the back of your pages but since I got page lifters for two of the rig planners that I already have the bigger ones it makes such a difference especially when you get more pages you don't want your pages to be constantly eaten by the back of the rings when you close the cover of your planner um, the page lifter just slides it up so they are all in um, good position and don't get stuck and don't get all you know weird or um, eaten up by the back of the rings. So definitely want to get a page lifter for this size. Uh, I have a couple shops uh, on Etsy that I've got page lifters for and they were great. So that's definitely um, probably going to be next purchase for here just to make it work a little bit better. And then of course I'll need to fill this baby up with more inserts now i've been watching uh, people's pocket rings uh, videos people just grab uh, whatever paper they have on hand cut it down punch it and voila i know they don't even go for any kind of fancy inserts and i was like yeah that's actually kind of a low pressure right way of using it to have basically i don't want to call it scratch paper it will be a little bit nicer than that but not like anything fancy with forms and page numbers or whatever. I probably would get a couple dashboards here just to separate different sections. Uh, but otherwise, I can literally just get a notebook or um, I've seen people take like a construction paper and cut it down to make dividers, uh, jelly dividers just to make it pretty, um, things like that. So um, definitely watch this space <laughs> to see how I'm going to fill this up. But uh, this is really nice. This is really cool. Really good quality. I mean, you can see um, it's sewn really well. I like that they smoothed out the edges because some uh, leather planners, especially when they're from smaller shops, um, the leather edges come uh, stay kind of rough. Um, for example, like this one, right? They're, they're not finished. They're just rough. Um, this one is uh, trimmed. Uh, they are polished. And then um, I believe it's like a paint or some solution that they put on edges. So they're smooth. Um, I like that fact that it's done here. Um, like I said, the only thing that I wish they were more consistent in color skin, because as you can see also, this one is gold. Um, this one is gold and this one is silver. Uh, now, I believe I haven't mentioned the price, uh, so it looks like I'm going up in price slowly, working my way up to a more term uh, ring planner, but when I got this one, as I mentioned, it was like $10. This one, they had a sale running in their shop, 
and um, it was $25 plus shipping because it's shipped from China. Uh, the shop that I got it from is WHP Design and as I mentioned this one is a 20 millimeter ring pocket ring planner and uh, by width of it to me it's almost like pocket plus right because it um, accommodates wider pages and also bigger rings if you want to put bigger rings in so uh, this is my new pocket ring planner i know i said i'm not gonna buy any more planners and here i am <laughs> uh, i guess i'm still going through my experimental era of trying different sizes uh, different layouts you know uh, different uh, methods of holding the paper you know paper bound versus rings and if you like this kind of videos and if you want to follow me as i use my different planners for different things please like please subscribe and leave me a note in the comments down below what are you thinking about this one do you think it's cute do you think it's a good deal for 25 bucks to have a leather planner with a pocket back pocket and zipper and all these pockets and all these little things that they included with it uh, let me know what you think and i will see you in the next video and until then you take care bye